of people, when we talk about shooting a club foot like that, depending on what the horse's job is, they're afraid the horse is going to start getting short strided when you put a breakover point that far back. And I think they're going to get you know, real short and choppy. I mean, they're already kind of short and choppy on the club foot. But I find when you're on the club foot, when you when you put the breakover point further back and let them roll, I think that their stride lengthens. One of the things that we see predominantly is, is the standard of shoeing everywhere we go around the world it's, it can be a little bit lacking and for myself especially I've had a lot of guys back home who put a lot of time and effort into teaching me how to shoe and trying to raise my standards up and uh, give me some more education. So it's time for me now to go out learn something and to be able to help some other guys and bring them up to the same kind of levels. Uh, educate them a little bit and try and improve the standard of horse showing them. How's a man gonna make it right? Save the trees, save the rain, say goodbye. Well, they'll be able to see that there's new products and new ideas out there and that we don't have to be stalled on the one sort of line of thought. We can think outside the square and um, and that there's other options out there available and that there's other vets and farriers all over the world have the same problems as we do. So um, as far as the owners are concerned, at least they get to learn or know that we're um, trying to improve um, hoof care overall. Some owners are just happy just to go along. I'm never happy. I've always got a hundred questions. I drive people crazy. So I think it's, yeah, you understand what your farrier's going through at the same time, what your vet's talking about. So, you know, when they talk to you in technical terms, you have a bit of an idea as well of what they're meaning when they explain things to you. A fair range of different types of horses and they've, they've brought a fair few different techniques from all sort of breeds and and um, different types of horses that they do. You know, you've got to look at your own work and be happy with the work that you're doing. Um, if you want, there's always something that you don't know. You'll always be approached with a with a foot or a problem or condition um, that you, you're not uh, very experienced with. Uh, there's a lot of range of problems out there that, that cause harm to horses. So, as a farrier, you're asked to help those those conditions, and, and to be able to do that, you have to associate yourself with these sorts of people. So. You know, if you, if you don't get out and, and, and open yourself to these, these type of situations in a, in a clinic and hands-on thing, you, you know, you're really not doing yourself or your business any, any justice, or the horse you're working on in that case.